Zach Hoffpower spent January 1st, 2016, like many Americans, on the couch, surrounded by friends and family, watching the Rose Bowl. Will he score on the first play from scrimmage? Yes! And like some Americans, he turned the game off after Stanford's victory was clearly in sight. What a show from number five and the Stanford Cardinal. And even though Hoffpower wanted to support his former teammates, it proved too hard for him to watch the rest of the Rose Bowl. It was just weird, because I played in two of them. It's like, I should be out there. Like, I know every single one of those guys, like, I would be playing, and I'm not. And quickly on, it's Zach Hoffpower, the two sports standout for the Cardinals. Zach Hoffpower oh leaves no doubt about this one. In the spring of 2015, Zach Hoffpower was another two-sport athlete carrying on the tradition of Stanford stars who had done the same. Baseball in the spring, football in the fall. He brings a life and an energy to practice, to games. Doesn't matter if he's playing safety, doesn't matter if he's playing nickel, doesn't matter if he's playing the dime, doesn't matter if he's playing on special teams. He's got a bounce in his step. He doesn't worry about who gets the credit for what. He just wants to be one of the guys. On the surface, Hoffpower straddled two sports and Stanford classes with ease. You got this that day and you just do it and then you go to the next day and it's when you make the transition from sport to sport. And then you realize, man, I'm tired. I went home for two weeks and that's my two weeks for the whole year. When the Arizona Diamondbacks selected Hoffpower in the Major League Baseball draft in the summer of 2015, he trusted a gut instinct and left Stanford to give professional baseball a shot. For a while, it looked good on him. Hoffpower gives it a ride, deep left field, into the corner and gone! His first homer of the year. I really enjoyed it because I came from being in season all year long, with football and baseball here for three years and not getting any breaks on top of school. And then I went from that to playing baseball and that's it. But as the summer wound down, Hoffpower rethought his decision to play professional baseball and felt the lure of the gridiron in the pit of his stomach. It was a sentiment he couldn't ignore. I had that gut feeling and I was gonna go with it because I haven't before and I regretted it. And so I did it and didn't think twice about it. And it had nothing to do with baseball. It's just something I wanted to do. So with a year of eligibility left at Stanford, Hoffpower made a call to Coach Shaw. When a guy goes away for a year and comes back, you never know how he's going to fit into a team. I had an idea that Zach was going to be fine just because of his personality. And when he comes around you, you just you fall in love with him because he's that passionate, energetic guy that's there for the team. Uh, I know our whole team was super excited when we, when we heard the news that he, he was going to come back. Not only because he's a heck of a football player and he's going to be really great for us, but he's a heck of a guy too. Perhaps the biggest benefit of Hoffpower's return to Stanford was the perspective he gained while he was away. Being in professional sports and seeing what life is like outside of here, I definitely appreciate Stanford for what it is. And when you come back, it's really nice. 